Hello, guys. Welcome to my first episode uh, of uh, War Game Red Dragon, and we are going to be playing the Second Korean War campaign. Uh, I'm starting this campaign uh, because it's actually the best uh, the war game uh, game has to offer, uh, since uh, you get to fight with all those functions uh, and. Um, there is actually huge, uh, huge unit variety uh, compared to any other war game campaign. Uh, it is the hardest one. Uh, it will provide uh, you with lots of joy, many heroic battles where you will be uh, severely outnumbered and you will have to just make do with uh, any units you got. So, uh, skipping all the all the texts, uh, you can uh, take the time to read them yourself. Uh, skipping all the text and jumping right to it. Uh, so, the first um, the first mission is actually uh, your uh, flagship uh, USS Enterprise is under attack, and you have to defend it in naval sector Juliet, uh, not Juliet, uh, Kilo. Sorry. Uh, so the the Russian fleet is coming to attack you. Uh, the scenario is based in Korea. Uh, the Chinese, the Soviets, and the Koreans are going to be attacking, and you are the American commander. Uh, coordinating all the attack. So um, this is uh, the first uh, the first scenario, and uh, I have found some ways uh, here to deliver a perfect score, meaning that uh, the aim is to you to lose zero units and to be able to inflict four thousand uh, damages to the enemy, which is pretty ambitious and uh, not always possible. Uh, so I actually uh, succeeded this uh, through replaying multiple times. Um, I will not go analytically to what the enemy and we have, uh, but you can see. Uh, actually, the key units are the Oliver Hazard Perrys, which is our destroyers. Uh, Congo, which is a tougher one. Uh, it's like our flagship. It's also very expensive, as you can see, 420 points. Um, the, we will be inflicting damage with these six choppers uh, and the F-18 Hornets. And uh, we also have some uh, F-14s for protection, but maybe we will not use them. Uh, the key units are the Oliver Hazards, the Congo, the SB, and the Hornets. So of course, the supply as well. The key units from the enemy are the sober menus, are the very tough, um, very tough destroyers. Uh, their choppers are mostly to scout. Uh, they don't use them to attack, which is good for us. Uh, they will be launching, though, if you get in the vision of some uh, helicopter, you will be getting attack from these four uh, Sukolovs 27K, uh, which are pretty deadly. Uh, they are equipped with uh, one undisciplined missile, so um, it's okay that you will receive like only one missile uh, from each one. So, But if, you, if your ships are already saturated with other attacks, then it can be a big problem. Uh, they have also these tarantules, which are very, very annoying. Uh, they are like uh, rocket ships. Uh, the nuttings are just uh, big spam. Uh, they don't, they cannot really defend themselves uh, against attacks. Uh, they don't deliver so much damage, but you do have to be careful. These comars are just another, another spam. They are like uh, rocket ships as well. Uh, and they can be a nuisance if they can come a lot of them together. Uh, their MiG-31s can defend against your Hornets, um, so you really have to pay attention for these as well. Uh, let's, up, let's jump uh, right into the battle and see what we can pull out this time. Uh, it's not like a StarCraft game, uh, meaning if you're new to the game, it's not like StarCraft that you will get like standard uh, opponents, uh, standard attacks at standard times. Um, uh, actually, in every, in, even in the same mission, uh, the enemy may choose many different tactics, uh, how to attack you and with what combinations of units. Uh, so uh, what I'm, I'm doing is that I will place one Oliver Hazard Perry in each one of those sections. Uh, so we have control. It's a command ship. Uh, so uh, we will have control over all these sectors. And uh, it's the aim for this is to have the best economy uh, possible. I, I have seen some other tactics that people actually um, they make like a camp here with a lot of ships, uh, but it's not actually so profitable as this one because uh, with the extra money, uh, you will be building up at a very tough army to counter whatever is thrown into you, at you. Um, so the the placement near the mountains here, the islands, is uh, also 
good strategy because it hides the ships. Uh, so the enemy can only attack you from here and from here. So uh, we will take care, we will make a RAS attack in Naval Sector Mike uh, early on. So we will block the enemy from coming from this side. So we're actually going to create a bottleneck here, right in this corner. And the plan is to to have the bottleneck here and we will be attacking from here and also from some reinforcements that will arrive from here. In the meanwhile, all the rest of the plan is to not lose ships and to actually use a rotation system between the, the ships. So if a ship gets damaged, uh, we will uh, actually save it. Okay, uh, let's put our helicopter down uh, in groups of two. And let's uh, also provide some supply for them. This is a good spot since we will keep it safe. Um, and I think we are ready. Okay, let's go. Uh, I will make a quick save here and the load uh, for a particular reason. Uh, I have a bug in my computer where uh, when I save load, the areas actually disappear. Uh, and it's actually a little bit more immersive, so I'm going to do it. them to go and then shift land uh, and they will automatically land and supply from the from the ship uh, it's a good time to position this a little bit better I will bring this one here as close to the island as possible and also this uh, I will put the front armor towards the bottleneck so it will not have um, it will not accept hits at its back it works uh, pretty much like a tank Okay, uh, with 320 points, uh, three, well, actually we need 360, I will start taking uh, the Super Hornets, preparing for the attack in the Sovereign menu. Uh, we really need to saturate it, it's very tough, uh, so it will need three Super Hornets and the helicopters to go down, uh, to be one-shotted. And after we... It will be ready in the, about the same time. So, uh, I will do a save here. Because uh, the attack here is actually a 40% chance of success. Uh, many things can go wrong. We can lose a, ho a Super Hornet uh, or we can... Um, they, they will defend the sovereign menu fiercely uh, since they will deploy MiG 31s. This helicopter will, will spot our uh, Super Hornets and he's already uh, reinforcing this position. Turning off the weapons and placing them in position until we are ready for the attack. Okay, and okay, we got three Super Hornets. Quick save and um, let's hope for the best outcome. Okay, I will not lie to you, I have uh, played some uh, save loads here. And I think the best course of action is to directly attack this over menu over here. Uh, along with the Tarantul. Because uh, there is a huge attack incoming from this side. And um, there is also an Adzin moving this way, so what I will have to do is just give this guy uh, some uh, watts over the bottleneck. 
some SU-27s are attacking my, my Oliver Hazard Perry here. Uh, this guy would be okay to attack the Tarandul and kill it. Because the Tarandul, he has a powerful AK-176-76mm, 176, which can inflict very big damage to our uh, to our ships in close range. And we will just focus immediately in this overmenu, which will come ultra aggressive uh, in our sea. If all goes well, we can sink it somewhere here. The weapon system reboot is very, very good for us. It means that it will have zero ability to defend itself, which is a very, a very lucky outcome. Uh, let's bring one more Oliver Hazard Perry over here. Um, and before the system reboots, let's attack this guy and finish him off. Actually, we don't even need, uh, need the choppers to attack. But okay, let's finish him off and uh, make a quick, uh, quick reload. And uh, okay, this was a very good outcome. Uh, so another save here will be initiated. Okay, so one of the sovereign has died, which, uh, which was very good for us. Uh, time is almost... Uh, time has almost arrived for our Congo, which will come to the aid. We need to deliver a very good strike to this over many with only two of our Hornets and six of our Choppers. Uh, which decreases the chance of uh, one-shotting it. But if we are a little bit lucky with it, then uh, we can pull it through. Okay, let's hope for the best. Uh, okay, they receive some hits, but hopefully they can evac. Yep, they are safe. And we also kill the sober menu, which was an optimal outcome. Uh, so they all need repairs, though, which what which means that uh, they will uh, not be back as fast. Uh, but we can actually start reinforcing this area, uh, so we will treat uh, the incoming spam that will come from here more effectively. I would really like to focus in this area, but now uh, I cannot, uh, because we are also going to receive some very sneaky attacks from here, and it's also dangerous for our uh, helicopters and our resupply. Uh, let's hope that our men in the field can deal with all this. Uh, the line is like here, so the Congo needs to be here and be supported. Okay. Uh, this Oliver Hazapari is not in, in no position to fight, but we have one of full health that we can bring. To aid the situation a little bit, we need to resupply. Our choppers better. Okay, our Congo is accepting some missiles now, some missile attacks, but hopefully it will not do any damage since the Oliver Hazard Perry is coming to to its assistance. Okay, this spam actually, this Nazi spam, I will not deal with. I prefer to come here and focus with uh, maybe this over menu over here or some sneaky attacks that I will start receiving
I don't see any enemies. There is a Nazin over here. The Nazin cannot come from here, but the Tarandul can. Uh, so maybe I should just attack the Sovermany. See if I can finish it off. It's half health. Maybe. Could work. So let's try to saturate this over many over here. One missile was left. It's going to towards the left. No, the saturation was not good, but uh, two missiles hit. And let's see. Okay, this Congo can come a little bit forward to be to a start attacking. As can these two. And let's uh, bring one Oliver Hazard Perry here. Bring a Pegasus over here. Bring some supply ship and the Tamsuri for extra defense. Okay, these are going down. Uh, there are some planes lurking around, trying to kill us. But the biggest threat now uh, is coming from a sneaky attack here, uh, which will try to to get some of these and also prompt the attacks uh, from SU-27Ks. So we must remain vigilant. The attack here is weak, so we are controlling it from two separate points. What we cannot control is what is coming from here. And there is something coming, I'm sure. Yep. There is an adding over here, uh, which I will deal with. Uh, no, it's not an adding. Nadine is is staying behind, uh, but we do need to inflict some casualties in these tarandules over here. The SU twenty sevens are out. We receive some hits. One F-18 is damaged some from the commerce. Some helicopters are now being damaged from the commerce, but I don't think they can do a lot of damage. SU-27 again. Okay, one is down. I hope a second. Uh, we don't have any damage yet. Any any ship uh, any ship uh, sinking. Those were out for too long. I can see only one. Maybe we got one. Okay, only 300 points left to the enemy, and we are eight minutes uh, left uh, to go. Which means, okay, uh, I think the Tomcats can actually take care of this one. It's 70 points, so why not? Good. There, we also use the Tomcats. And it would be a nice uh, finale to actually uh, take this over menu, but I don't think it's possible. Maybe it will finish with some uh, some other ship. Okay, we have the nads in over here. These guys are blocking the way for our helicopters right now. Mm, let's try to scout and we will see what we come up with. Um, there is a tarantula here, which is a nice target. But I can't see it now. Okay, he's dead. Good, they don't work like, uh, like a Tau missile. They didn't go completely to waste there. 
and we need only 59 points uh, we if we kill these two it's going to be okay some tyrant rules over here can actually pick any target we want uh, but I'm not sure if I had any casualty here in this game yet I don't want now to have any casualty good there is a tarantul which I can take care of uh, with my hornets and let's hope uh, he will die fast Okay, we did it. Uh, that was it, guys. So let's see. Uh, we lost 165 points. We lost one Oliver Hazard Perry. I'm not sure where and when. Uh, I didn't even see that. Uh, where this was lost. Uh, maybe it was uh, in the main fleet. I have to check the replay, as as you will. Uh, but actually, it was a, a pretty good, uh, pretty good run. So I will be uploading this, even if I didn't do a perfect score. Uh, I wanted just to show that it is possible to have a perfect score here. Uh, so we delivered uh, many killing blows. Uh, we only killed one MiG. I would like more. We killed two SG-27Ks, uh, seven Tarantules, half of them, uh, three Sobermanis, which was the very good outcome, and seven Nadzims, which was also leaves the enemy with only two command ships, and it will be an easy work in the next mission. Uh, so all of these uh, for just one Oliver Hazard Perry, it would be like an acceptable outcome uh, in any war scenario. Uh, so I'm keeping it. Okay. Uh, so I'm clicking OK. Uh, I will save this. I will uh, show in the next episode how you can actually reinforce these areas over here. And uh, we will do the second uh, naval, uh, naval battle. Okay, that was it. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, learned some interesting tactics. And uh, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.